So we went ahead and investigated what kind of medical fabrics are out there. And as plastic surgeons, we're very ignorant about this. And uh, I share with you this information because sometimes we, ch we choose a fabric that looks or sounds good, but we really have very little knowledge. So we went ahead and found out what was, you know, the type of medical fabrics currently being used. And the compression fabrics are basically two types. We've learned that they are, they're woven or knitted. The woven are not widely used. They got great performance, but their cost is way too high. The knitted is the most common, lower cost, and provides good performance. So within those knitted fabrics, we have two types, and they are classified according to their, you know, process, the knitting process, such as warp and weft. The warp are yarn zigzags along the length of the fabric, very common in medical, you know, fabrics, and the weft is yarn zigzags along the width of the fabric, and those are the ones that most commonly used in hosiery, in panning, <coughs> in, <coughs> used by women. Now the warp knitted fabrics are basically either tricot or rachel. And the tricot most commonly are the knitted fabrics are cheaper and common in intimate wear, finer, feel, but marginal power and stretch. The rachel is the most common medical fabric. However, they are expensive, but coarser feel, higher end performance. The rachel fabrics are the ones that where the power net concept originated. And these are the most common post-operative fabrics, high length, low width stretch, combined with high length, low width power, easy to make and are a little bit less you know, expensive. Now to summarize what I've just told you, again, the knitting is the process of interlooping of yarns to form a textile structure. And again, the difference between the weft and the warp it, whether this process is done, you know, in an horizontal or in a vertical fashion, as you see here. I've also learned that what they call power is the squeeze that the fabric is able to impart to any specific given part of the body. Now, so we end up with, two, with these two types of fabrics, power knit and comfort weave fabrics. They both are made of the same raw materials with a warp knitting, that means a vertical process using either hard yarn nylon or the stretch yarn spandex. Now in PowerPoint, the core structure is placed on the hard yarn and in Comfort Weave, the core structure is placed on the spandex. Now, to put things in perspective in a very practical way, where well you say, okay, I understand that there are two types of fabrics, but who makes them, who produces them? Well, I can tell you that I've learned that power knit is the fabric that has been used by almost all the manufacturers, from Design Veronique, Mentor, Rainy CD, Clearpoint Medical, Contour, Jobs, etc. And the Marena Group has the only material that is called Comfort Weave. 